Hey everyone, Dustin Oggs here with Keela Commercial. As a project manager, I'm always trying to find ways to save my clients time and money. So today, we're going to look at a solution of going wireless versus actually installing data cabling throughout your space. This simple solution could save you thousands of dollars on your office build out without sacrificing on the design. When you're looking at, let's say, an office of 50 people, and you typically need about two drops per person uh, and various other drops throughout the office when it comes to the equipment. You know, it's going to range anywhere from $125 to $200 per drop. You know, you could be looking at a cost of around $20,000. The nice thing with the wireless solution is you don't need to do all that data infrastructure that you would have if you, if you wanted to do the landlines and desktops. And, you know, basically your cable count is what we call it you know, where you would say you might need one or two poles to each employee's desk or various other location around the office, you know, really that scales back to where you can cut possibly 70 to 80 percent of the data lines that need to be installed. And when you just think about the, the numbers we were talking about earlier, 125 to 200 dollars per drop, you know, that's tens of thousands of dollars of savings when it's, uh, you know, an example of a 50 person office. Our clients do look at wireless, you know, you're not 100 percent going away from having to install some data drops. You still have to install them for wherever you have your wireless access points or your WABs. You're still gonna need them at various locations for TV or any copier machines, fax machines. So you're gonna need to have that, but like I said, you're reducing that rate significantly and you're really you know, realizing that cost on the front end. There also is a domino effect on some other areas that you're gonna be saving money. When it comes to the server room, you may not you know, need to build a huge server room, you may be able to scale back that footprint and just have more like a server closet. And then the equipment that you would be putting in there may be reduced significantly as well. You know, besides saving the square footage on not having to build out a big server room and all that additional power and AC, you know, you're going to be getting huge cost savings as well by going wireless. So going wireless also is going to allow you to be flexible, especially with your office layout. Um, if you need to um, you know, reduce the size of your workforce or if you need to quickly grow it, um, you'll be able to move around um, you know, where your employees sit. Uh, they'll also be able to collaborate a lot better and they won't be confined to, to being in that area where their, you know, their cables actually connect to their computer or phone. I have a lot of clients right now that are specifically looking at you know, is there an option to go wireless? It, it does take some game planning on the front end because they're gonna have to transfer their employees from desktops and uh, landlines into having the employees used to working off their mobile devices and then also giving them laptops because they need some type of device that, that has wireless built into it so it can pick up the wireless network. For more tips on how to save money on your office build out, check out our quick tips series on our YouTube channel. Also, visit our blog. And remember, nobody knows Austin better than Aquila.